As the battle over the Delta waged on, a new vision for the Bay as a whole was growing. The possibility of actually restoring some of what was lost in 150 years of radical change. The Bay was on life support. And what we did for three decades was simply tried to keep the bay alive and not getting any worse. And then it was really in the early 90s where we started to see wetland restoration projects that went from a few acres to 10 acres. And then in the North Bay, 10,000 acres. By 2002, the opportunity many hoped for arrived with a landmark deal to buy over 15,000 acres of South Bay salt ponds. This is the second largest restoration overall in the United States, and it is unique in that it is smack dab in the middle of an incredibly urbanized area. It's surrounded by Silicon Valley and the rest of the San Francisco area. So it's an urban restoration. Seven and a half million people live here. We are planning the restoration with that urban context in mind. I would hope that we would have acres and acres of tidal marsh left, and I would hope we'd have a lot of the wildlife in abundance, the ducks, the geese, the shorebirds. A lot of shorebirds and waterfowl nest very far north of here, actually a lot of them in the Arctic, and they fly south along what we call the Pacific Flyway, which we are right in the middle of. They'll either winter here or further south in Central America, some go all the way to South America. So the San Francisco Bay has actually been declared a site of hemispheric importance for migrating shorebirds. 